Takuya Akubo is the chief Japan economist at Societe Generale in Tokyo. Takuya, tell us why you think note is the best choice. Well, first of all, like among the five candidates, I think he had a clearest policy. And uh, if you listen carefully to what he's saying, he's actually not promising, any, he's not promising anything he cannot deliver. Like other candidates often had a very like a fantastic idea of uh, reconstructing Japan without uh, any taxes, uh, like uh, asking BOJ to underwrite JGBs. I, you know, clearly, those other candidates haven't really thought what they were going to do as a PM. But, uh, you know, given he was a, uh, no, Mr. Noda was a finance minister, he had a very good understanding of what policies are possible and not possible. So in that sense, I think he will be actually excellent, uh, credible policymaker. Take us through those key policies and tell us why you think they are achievable. Right. First of all, I actually think it is actually one of the best time to uh, raise taxes. So ideally, it would be it would actually be a great policy to raise taxes next year. Why? Because the typical mistake Japanese government has been making in the past, for example, back in 1997 when Hashimoto, Prime Minister Hashimoto raised consumption taxes, Japan tend to not raise tax when the economy is expanding. And just when the economy is starting to slide down, uh, the Japanese government raised taxes, basically triggering a recession. And then, you know, this time around, into next year, Japanese economy is actually will be growing very robustly. There's a reconstruction demand, and in our expectation, Japanese economy is going to grow by 3%. So Japanese economy, I think, is strong enough to take uh, some taxation. So I, I think it is actually a good policy to raise tax next year. Raise tax. You're talking about the sales tax in particular, and how much would you raise it to? Right. Well, if you go for the consumption, consumption tax, if, by raising... You know, consumption tax rate from current 5 to 8 percent, this, uh, this will result in a revenue of like 6 to 7 trillion, about like 1 percent GDP. So there is a way uh, to raise a very significant amount of uh, uh, tax, and uh, he, better do it, uh, he better do it fast, if not next year, the year after. So tell us about his strategy with the yen. I mean, obviously the markets are, are keen because they know that he's not afraid to intervene and try and weaken the yen. But we've seen how ineffective that intervention can be. It maybe weakens the yen right. for a little while, but then that goes away. What can he actually do? What's going to be the answer to weakening the yen? Okay, first of all, well, um, you, you know, I think uh, you have to really understand what's happening in the global financial market in the past one month to understand whether the current exchange rate is weak or not. When you look at it, Yen has actually stayed level, uh, at the same level for the last one month. Is. You know, while there's a global financial turmoil, like stock pr prices are falling everywhere, if not for the intervention, I think Yen would have strengths to like 70, probably over 70. So I think, uh, in contrary to uh, what many people said, I actually think FX intervention was very successful. And uh, if, I, if, I, I, uh, if you let me add, I think if yen actually weakened over 80, that could have been successful, but I'm sure U.S. and European policy makers have a negative thing to say about that. All right. Takuya Okuba from Societe Generale, the chief Japan economist there. Thank you very much for your help there.